In this podcast we're going to have a look at the Stryker Hoffman 3 external fixation system. I'm going to remove the lid by pushing in on the handles. And we can see that the set is arranged in two different layers. Separate them out. Let's go through it bit by bit. So the key to the Hoffman is this little thing. This is the delta clamp. And you can see that it's annotated with the numbers 5, 8 and 11. And that corresponds to 11mm, 8mm and 5mm apertures which can grip a, a half pin or an external rod. And on the other side it also says 5, 8 and 11. And that means you can have either a 5mm pin or an 11mm bar or an 8mm external uh, bar connecting to, uh, to this clamp and uh, this is green on one side and green on the other side so they both have f 5, 8 and 11. Let's see how that works in practice. So the reason it's so uh, flexible is because it can move in this direction, it can move in this direction and it can move in that plane as well. So that makes it a universal joint which is very flexible. Now what happens if you want to connect say a, a, a 6mm pin instead of a 5mm pin? Well if that's the case then you need a different type of delta clamp. So let's have a look at the other type of delta clamp. And whereas the other one was green on both sides, this is green on one side and it's silver on the other side. And this is annotated with four, five, and six. That means I've got a six millimeter pin, which is my preference for the tibia and the femur. And again, I can connect an 11 millimeter external bar, or I could connect an eight millimeter external bar to that. And that will give me the flexibility to be able to do this. In order to tighten it up, I can use this thumb screw. And just finger tight will actually give me a good grip and that will not now move. I can take that off and I can use a seven millimeter wrench in, uh, or spanner in order to tighten that up even further so that it can't possibly move. Let's put the thumb screw back on. Now, what other devices do we have for uh, gripping the uh, external rods? Well, there's this type as well. So with this type you can grip two 11mm external rods. You might be able to use this uh, on the pelvis or on a knee spanning uh, uh, fixator and what you can do is slide in one side and slide at the other side. It just means that you can conform to the anatomy a little bit better. You can go the other way and by tightening up these nuts um, it means that you can grip these very uh, strongly and that will hold your pelvic external fixation together at the front. Another type of fixator is even more flexible. So if we look at the normal delta clamp, there's a set distance between the two uh, uh, parts of the delta clamp. With this type, it's even more flexible. So I can move my external rods further apart or bring them together. So this is even more flexible. And again, I can move it in any plane that I want to. This again is holding an 11, a five or an eight. So now that we've had a look at the various delta clamps, let's have a look at the other instruments in the set. So here we have a T-wrench, which is seven, has a seven millimeter space. So we can use that in order to tighten our clamp. Now, sometimes it's not possible to get that into every space. So, as well as that, there's also a wrench 
wrench is 7mm so that can also tighten our clamp up. Also in this set are, is a brace. Now the brace is marked here as 5 and 6. That means the aperture here will take a 5 or 6mm apex pin. And on this side it's marked 3 or 4. So the aperture here will take a 3 or 4mm apex pin. So if I was putting the apex pin in, if it was a 3 or 4, I'd put the handle on that side and I'll be able to rotate it like that in order to put in my pin. If I wanted to put in a 5 or 6mm pin, I'll put the handle on the other side. These devices are for mounting a pin on power. That's not something that I always recommend. It may save uh, you some time, but ultimately putting pins in on power results in thermal necrosis. And if you watch my other video on this YouTube channel, you'll find out exactly why. Let's have a look in the other half. We have here the apex pins which are arranged in size and one of the outstanding features of this set is that it has uh, drill guides and screw guides and a trocar and these fit on a guide so these can screw in This gives you a great deal of precision when you're trying to put in a pin. On the Hoffman 2 set there weren't any draw guides and so what that meant was that you're always having to guess really where you were going to make your uh, incision and where you were going to drill. Whereas on this set we can use the apex to, mark, to make a mark on the bone and then we can drill through the drill sleeve, we can then remove that and we can put the pin down the uh, outer sleeve. Now, another bit of user friendliness uh, in this system is that this drill guide matches with the 10 hole pin block. So it's possible to um, drill the first one uh, by using the guide. Here's a tibia. I've already used the um, guide in order to drill two holes and I then placed some uh, apex pins through those in the correct position. I'm quite happy with that. I can then remove that and then I can put on a 10 hole pin block which is sitting there and these are reasonably parallel so it's allowing me to go up and down quite easily. And I want to sit it near the tibia as much as possible, but I don't want it to be uh, touching the skin. I want to be able to also get a dressing down there. So I'm happy about that position. And I can use the T-handle to compress this together. And now that's gripping the pins very solidly, and I can't get that apart. So. This draw guide is for the 10 hole block, but there's also a 5 hole block. And the 5 hole block marries up with the 5 holes on the uh, 5 uh, pin hole block there. So these uh, bolts at the top are for holding the external bars so I can take one of these and fit it into here and by tightening the um, bolts on the top that will stop the external bar from coming out and if I want to squeeze the pins I can tighten up the ones on the side and this will squeeze it together from side to side so let's undo that put it back I 
have a look at the other components on the set. So, apart from the apex pins, here are some pin blocks which are ready made and they're mounted with external bars. And these external bars uh, can help save some time and they're mounted off at a, a direction of about 30 degrees uh, from the horizontal. Here are some more of the external bars and these come in various sizes. So this is going from 150 all the way to up to 400. And there are different types of external connectors which can go into the side. I'll just loosen that up so that fits in there. But that's a bent at 30 degrees. But there are also straight ones as well as the one that I showed you previously, which is at a right angle. The Hoffman 3 is described as being MRI compatible. That means if you want to scan the head or the spine, that's fine, so long as the uh, body part with the frame doesn't go into the bore of the scanner itself.